Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and this is my point of view from the Star Trek Clash of Devs um, multiplayer game. Um, I'm playing as the World War, this is episode 3 or the, the third session and uh, I knew that this session I really had to eat the rest of my neighbors, I had to finish the war with the um, Lyrites in the south um, who had decided to vassalize. Um, so that they couldn't um, colonize any further. I knew that I had to eat the um, grayish neighbor um, right next to me. I basically had to get ready um, to go for a fight with the Borg because I actually, I sort of had a non-aggression pact uh, with the Borg um, at, the st at the start. We said uh, he's going to take his spiral arm, I'm going to take my spiral arm. And then in the second... Um, session he said he also needs the herc so that he can get to the dominion and i really didn't feel comfortable with having the borg in my spiral arm um so i decided to actually go for an alliance in this episode uh, or in this session with the dominion and i was hoping that we too would be strong enough to actually keep the borg out of our arm um so now i'm upgrading my fleet after um Having taken the the Lyrites out, um, I'm actually moving against the other um, neighbor at this point. Um, they aren't loyal, the Lyrites. I think they never work, really. Um, but yeah, I'm upgrading my fleet because I got the engineering variants for the ships. And I got another breakthrough with the warp engines. I actually went for exploration engines, which allows me to travel faster, uh, uh, further and faster. But the, the jump times are not all that great. Um, so that's something um, I knew that I had to to really push um, to get the Kravik up north. Um, that was sort of my agreement that I get the, the Kravik and that the Borg take the Herc. Um, I didn't know that the Herc actually were that close. <laughs> but yeah, I basically decided that uh, since diplomacy is irrelevant with the Borg, it's, it's really hard to trust them because you can't really go for any formal thing that really binds them. Yes, they have truces after a war, but that's basically it. Um, so I decided to push. My science output is not all that great, like um, especially in the physics and the engineering area. Um, it's rather low. It's just because I'm having lots of slaves and I also have a fair amount of planets. I'm building my fleet up. Um, should probably have gone for more cruisers and less of the smaller ships. Okay, so now I've I have eaten that neighbor. Um, that's pretty good. Um, now there's only the Lyrites, and I knew that I had to push up north. I had sort of talked uh, a bit with the Sheliac, um, who I knew were going to take the um, the Galactic Core. Uh, we had talked about that, and uh, I was okay by me. It was originally my plan to actually take the Core myself. Um, but I knew that I kind of might have to to uh, get into conflict with the Borg to keep them out of the spiral arm. So I thought I actually won't have the time to get into the core myself. Now I've found the Dominion and we've actually gone for a defensive pack now. Um, I'm attacking the Kravik. Now that is one of my um, biggest problems. I attacked the Kravik who had been um, guaranteed by the Voth in the other spiral arm, which brought me into conflict with them. Not a problem. But um, the Borg player is uh, Shago, one of the devs, is now actually going to um, see that the Dominion and me are allied and he's going to attack us um, so that he can make sure that uh, that he can make sure that he gets the Herc. Um, yeah, and there the Borg have declared war. Um, we're going to try and take our um, war goals. <laughs> we still have to set them. And now I'm in two wars, which is rather uncomfortable. Uh, I wasn't sure if I could actually um, push for an end um, of the war against the against the Kravik. Um, so I decided to white piece out of it to, so that I could fully concentrate on the Borg war. Now, we weren't really sure what to do. Um, this was our biggest tactical mistakes. We should have kept the fleets together. Um, Dominion player insisted that I actually try to jump over into Unit Complex 1, which would have been a great strategic idea, but as you can see, my drives are, on, are not all that great. I got the next level drive, so I thought maybe if I upgrade to the next level warp drive, I will be able to jump into the next spiral arm. Um, didn't happen, didn't happen, and that sort of um, handcuffed us. Um, so after the upgrades, I was trying to actually merge again with the Dominion fleet up there who had been taking on the second unit complex that the Borg had built. 
unit complex too, which is quite difficult because they have defensive turrets and stuff. Um, we should probably attack that one together, but um, that was too late now. Uh, I'm trying to move up, but uh, the Borg player had actually seen what was going to happen, and it was moving in. Um, so now the Dominion was actually moving out of the system, but uh, the Borg were so fast in jumping that they actually arrived ahead of time. I think the Dominion had at that time rather low level of warp drive. I don't even think they had the specialization, so they were caught out by the Borg. And suddenly it was a 20k, um, almost 20k Borg fleet against my... What do I have here? Like uh, almost 12k World War fleet. So at this point, um, things looked rather dire. The Dominion player was... Um, uh, Locutus, Locutus von Borg is the Dominion player. Um, was trying to build up his cruisers and his fleet to maybe fight together. Um, and the Borg just decided to take planet after planet with their colony scoop, um, where they can sort of pull the um, pops from a planet and pull the resources and the the tech by just building a mega project in orbit around the planet. That was rather nasty. We decided to take back Weatherly with the forces that we had just to maybe slow him a bit. But... Um, yeah, at this point things were rather bad. I was I was uh, sending minerals to the Dominion player, whereas you can see that I am having a massive energy deficit. So we were basically trading uh, minerals and energy credits back and forth, um, trying to stay in the game. Um, which is another another problem that I had that massive deficit because I went way above my force limit. You can see that I'm at 358 of 235. Um, definitely a problem. That is a big problem that you that I couldn't sustain at war. Um, or, or my fleet at that point. So I decided, um, or we decided that we might actually go for maybe a decisive battle. And there I am in conflict with the Borg. But um, yeah, it doesn't go all too well. I mean, 20k versus 12k, that's normally a loss um, in Stellaris, just because you can only do so, so much with your designs. You can do a lot more in the Star Trek mod, though. And uh, yeah, at this point, we were both frantically trying to build up. Uh, I was. Um, trying to also go for some some better designs and stuff. Um, but yeah, Borg actually mainly concentrated on getting the Herc. And uh, yeah, they offered, they accepted a white piece, even though they could have uh, probably killed us. But I think the uh, Shago knew, the Borg knew, um, that leaving us in peace was probably the better idea. But yeah, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually thankful for the Borg that they didn't push that much further. Because they could have eaten us. We could probably resist them, but I think he had other plans. I think he was only trying to um, get those pops so then actually go into the um, beta quadrant and the alpha quadrant. Um, and yeah, I guess the Herc were just too too tasty, too many pops. And he does have his breeding grounds in the northern end of his arm. So what we had to do now was um, trying to rebuild. We do have a truce at this point, 10 years with the Borg, and I thought we might get attacked right at the end of it. Um, I was suffering terrible energy problems. I mean, after the loss of my fleet, it wasn't all that bad. We're already at 7k right now. really shouldn't have built that many patrol ships. Um, they're actually quite useless, especially against the bigger ships. I should have probably just ignored those, but I, I, I guess I'm just going to send them into one battle or another. Maybe just as a distraction or something. Um, so while we're fighting here, or while we're trying to rebuild, the Borg player has already attacked the Herc. And he's going to try to eat all those. Um, so our plan now is to take as much land um, from him as possible, um, from the neutral factions, to stop him from actually eating all those um, neutral parties. I was trying to actually invade those primitives. I'm going to spend massive amounts of influence, but I knew that I was... Um, going to meet all the neutral parties now, and that gives you influence every time you meet them. So I knew that I could probably push out my borders rather heavily um, just by using all that influence instead of just wasting it by going over the over the influence limit. So I, I thought, why not trying to grab as much land as possible and not leave it not leave it to the Borg um, was my idea. I lost my army fleet apparently, so I'm also trying to rebuild and send them all into that system before I take those primitives. Um, but yeah, I had a 10-year truce with the Kravik, so uh, we decided that the Dominion was going to attack them and then give me the planets, which was actually quite nice. 
Um, yeah, it's actually worked out pretty well. I didn't think that I would go for an alliance with the Dominion, but I'm actually rather happy with um, how it worked out. Um, Dominion player said that he was hobbled a little bit because he had so many vassals and basically no influence to go colonizing anymore, uh, which probably stopped him from taking control of as much of that spiral arm as he could have. Um, but yeah, that uh, Mandel planet over there, the last planet of the Herc that they have now, is probably going to be the end um, of the World War expansion in that, in that spiral arm. And still have plenty of expansion opportunities inside. So now we're attacking the, uh, the Dominion players attacking the Kravik. I'm taking those primitives over here. No, wait, uh, I think the Herc are actually going to... Yeah, they actually uh, colonized that planet. So I thought I might as well attack the Herc. And I found now the Shiliac. I In this um, episode, I think I found every other player empire, every empire in the galaxy apart maybe from some miners. Um, interestingly enough, they are all um, weaker than the Dominion and me, um, apparently from excessive infighting. Um, the only real um, threat is um, Acebeck, who is playing the Klingons. I mean, they do have a big alliance. Klingons, Romulans, and Federation um, are allied, which is pretty interesting. Okay, yeah, and the, um, the Borg actually managed to eat a bunch of the Kravix. Um, I've been taking Kralor, and now I'm trying to take the last two planets of the Herc, who are at this point guaranteed by the Voth again, which causes us to actually move into the other spiral arm. A lot of diplomacy going on. I'm uh, researching with the Shiliac. I'm also colonizing as much as possible, just to to um, stop the Borg from, from taking too much uh, territory. That's probably what we should have done in the first place. Just push um, east from the Dominion and me. I should have pushed more north because the southern neighbors weren't really all that um, difficult. But I needed them under my thumb, so that's why I did what I did. Just trying to get that resolved quickly so that I can be one unified block. Um, I was having lots of problems with uppity slaves since the World War are a slaver race. You can see that I have that um, that red fist over there at all times. I really needed to do some more internal politics, but um, the whole war thing and the, the mad rush to grab colonies um, really didn't help my, my internal um, build up. Okay, so now the Dominion fleet has arrived in there, um, in her space, and then we decided to um, to actually split them. I was going to go to the Voth, and they would take on the rest of the Herc planets, take them over and all. Um, but yeah, that's going to be our demarcation line as uh, far as I can see. Um, Worth aren't all that strong at that point. They have been crippled by the Borg, who's trying to use them to breed new pops. Basically, um, coming with his scoop, scooping up the pops from their capital planet and stuff. Um, then putting them on his own planets and then letting them grow again, letting them colonize again, because the Borg are super slow at uh, population growth. Um, yeah, I have lots of internal management to do. My resource situation still is pretty shitty. Um, I think at this point I'm also trying to integrate the Lyrites. Because um, I just, I mean, the vassal is never as useful. And we're certainly not equipped to um, have that many vassals. So I'm just trying to integrate them as fast as possible. Which is probably, yeah, which definitely helped with the, with the whole energy problem. Because we got a lot more production and people were also super unhappy because I had negative influence. I should have probably waited until I had enough influence to eat them just outright. And the vassalization is actually done. So now I had to put them all in a sector. Did increase my unrest though, so um, probably more internal management is necessary. Yeah, I'm just trying to take out the uh, loss of the Worth planet. They're going to give up uh, very soon now, uh, which is going to give me those last two planets. Um, one of the Worth planets is actually going to go to the Dominion in the other spiral arm. Um, so we'll, we'll probably try to give them access to that one in the next session if we can. I mean, it was a rather aggressive move. Um, but you really can't let the, let the Borg have um, all that much space. They're just going to eat the pops, eat the resources over and over again. Um... So at this point, I'm actually doing rather well. I have 14, 14 k fleet now. Um, but we're suspecting that the Borg player at this point had about 40, since we saw him with 20. Um, I did have to pull some resources out of my um, sectors, but yeah, at least I managed to get my get my resource gain into into the positives now. Um, 
This is probably as big as the World War Supremacy is going to get, at least in this spiral arm. I don't think I want to expand further towards the Dominion because they actually don't have all that many planets. And I'm actually fine with the Shiliac holding the Galactic Core. I'm not too happy with having the Nibirite so close. I was actually counting on that being um, my expansion territory, but oh well. I still have plenty of space in the other spiral arm. <laughs> I also have enough expansion space in my own um, territory. There are lots of planets that I still haven't um, colonized at this point, which I could still do. So we have another faction um, happening there. Yeah, internal politics in the multiplayer game are actually um, not, as, not as easily um, manageable. Um, trying to, to push the tech has also proven difficult um, just because I mainly have slaves. So we'll have to make an effort to actually colonize more planets with my own race and make them into science planets. I mean, my, um, my sectors are all told to be research sectors, which is probably also not a great idea since we're not using them all too efficiently. But yeah, I've already have minerals coming out of the Wazoo. I mean, 266 is actually pretty good since you since I already have a fleet going and all. Um, energy income could be better. At this point I'm also trying to build up um, spaceports to increase my uh, to increase my fleet limit, um, which is at the end of this episode probably going to be at around 400, I think. Uh, we're going to need way more, especially once the Borg have their have their cubes. We're just going to be screwed. <laughs> Because the cubes are actually super powerful. Okay, and I've actually managed to exceed my fleet limit. I do have some dilithium as well that I have to make useful. So that's probably going to happen at some point. Um, I already have 10k minerals. I'm going to reach the, the max at some point. Um, so what I did is I thought rather than let it go to waste, I'm actually going to send the alpha beta quadrant races um, 1,000 minerals each. Which is probably going to happen soonish now. Nah, we're almost there. Because, I mean, what can I do? Okay, yeah, I'm at 412 now. That's good. I'm actually below the, below the limit. That's interesting. Okay, yeah. Um, just busy colonizing these planets. Um, actually putting garrisons on the planet. Um, putting my own people on the planet. I'm actually trying to research the police station to keep the unrest down a little bit. Um, I did have a rebellion right about now <laughs> of some really unhappy people um, on that planet. So, I mean, that showed me that I have internal problems. But I just, I was in a mad rush to build up the fleet further and further and further um, just because I thought the Borg attack was actually imminent. I thought that would be... Um, a real problem. <laughs> and yeah, we're at 406 or 416. So that's looking good. Pushing on, pushing on more spaceports and yeah, trying to to move my own species on planets that have slaves on them just so that I can build um, loyal World War um, defense armies um, on those planets to keep down the unrest. That's a thing. I think I should probably also increase my my um, normal um, attack fleet. There's no more space for brute forcing planets, which is a bit of an uh, an annoyance. Well, yeah, just trying to get my new territory um, under my thumb, increasing the increasing the research. Physics research has actually caught up nicely, whereas the engineering research is still lagging behind quite a bit. Um, so I will probably have to do something about that. Uh, I also have a lot of stuff to do for my construction things now. Okay, sending some minerals to the Klingons, who at this point uh, I think were at war with the Fender Mars states because uh, the Borg had actually gone to war there, which has sparked um, some panic. Um, the Q observers actually have sort of called on the free people of the galaxy to um, move against the Borg protect us from geometrical shapes. Yeah, I'm continuing to build up, um, building more and more cruisers, um, trying to push as much as possible in that regard. Uh, just a bit of a problem that I only have one fleet, um, whereas I needed them in the south. And 
I just sent some energy credits to the Klingons. I think the Klingon player Aceback uh, actually said that he had sent 300 energy per month to another player <laughs> as part of a mistake. And uh, yeah, I think I'm I'm done at this point. Yeah, the game is paused, so we basically did what we could. I should have probably gone ahead and actually built a couple of um, things on my planets and all. But yeah, I think we, all in all, I did pretty well well in this one i haven't been destroyed also thanks to the the mercy of the book player although we could have probably pushed against him um all right ish uh, we'll see how it goes in the next uh session where um most of the galaxy is actually going to be out for for blood we'll see how we cope with that i am going to stream my point of view um on twitch.tv slash horror um, so if you want to watch my point of view, I will probably not be able to commentate all that much, but at least you can listen in and watch in real time if that's uh, if that's what you like. I'm also going to make a video um, like this again, where I just go for the time lapse. So if you don't have the time to watch it live, it's going to be Sunday at um, nine o'clock in the evening, Central European Summer Time. So if you if you want to watch the Clash of the Devs or Clash of the Titans. Um, then yeah, you can sure to make sure to follow me on on Twitch if you want to see it live, or you can just see um, what happened in next week's um, point of view video. If you enjoyed it, um, thank you very much. Please leave a like if you found it helpful or found it entertaining. Um, and yeah, I hope I see you in one of my other videos. Thanks. Bye bye.